Hi Gemini, welcome to your mid-month readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of March, I'm offering a special focused on the theme of the unconscious awareness. So basically, it's a reading that intends to bring forward messages and some insight upon the unconscious degree of knowledge of our own selves and our psyche. So if you would like to know more info about that special, email me as well. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So, Gemini... I feel like this mid-month is quite interesting for the majority of you in terms of matters of the heart. I feel like love and relationships are in focus and as well the choices of the heart versus choices of the mind or ego. Because what I'm feeling is that Geminis are having here this incredible power that they may end up realizing or not during the mid-month they have this incredible power to manifest they are being they are really manifesting a lot of things during this time frame and it's very important to know where your heart lies so you know what you are manifesting and making sure that you are manifesting what you want what you desire what you truly feel like um you know like like you want to be in terms of uh, love, in terms of relationships, in terms of dreams, in terms of self-satisfaction, because this can encompass many layers. I feel like for the majority of you, there are here issues about love. I feel like there's like a dream come true type of energy uh, with Gemini's connected with love, partnerships, love relationships, love aspirations. So even if you don't have um, anyone significant in your life, the, the, the desire to encounter one or the, the thoughts of it, the dreams of it, the uh, expectations of it can grow stronger and more intensely during this mid-month about love. Everything that deals with one-to-one -one intim intimate partnerships are in focus. Some of, some of it and the majority of it actually is in focus with a very positive light. Since you do have the Nine of Cups, beautiful Nine of Cups as your advice. And also you have the Lovers as your main opportunity. So you join here two energies as the, mo the, the most the most positive ones, influences for your mid-month, they are indeed very beautiful energies to have uh, joined because this means that for the majority of you, there's a high possibility of manifesting love, of manifesting a partnership, of manifesting an encounter that you have consciously or unconsciously been um, you know, praying about or asking the universe or envisioning in a certain way. I feel like existent relationships can as well be affected in a positive way, especially if there has been, you know, struggles, conflicts, um, some type of disagreement or separations, things on those terms. There can be an energy of love rising above anything else that creates, um, you know, unity and compromise. And, and actually from the challenges that some couples, you know, have been experiencing here with Gemini's, from rising and transcending those difficult experiences, actually I feel like the bond and the relationship here of some of you coupled, Gemini's are just going to grow stronger and create from it a lot of beauty. Aside of the romantic vibration here, there's also a vibration of romanticism about life, right? Or about this dreamy element that is circling around you, that it's making you maybe gaze at the stars and 
think about and feel connected much more than usual with higher aspirations and higher ideals of what you want your life to look like. Some of you, this lover's energy could be about choices, for sure. It could be about you reaching here some type of crossroads during the mid-month where you are faced with decisions, you are faced with your free will, with the free will, right? With the liberty to create your own destiny. And sometimes when we are given that and we are aware that it's upon our hands to be the designers of our own happiness, we can freak out for sure. And we can freak out because it's so much easier to leave it to God or to leave it to a higher force and then blame it or be th be thankful uh, to it if we like the results. Um, but when it's about us, when it's about the power of choice, when it's about the power that we hold to create our lives, we can sometimes feel scared and afraid because we don't know many times what's the right thing to do, what's the right choice, because we're always projecting it to the result, right? Instead of the journey itself. So some Geminis with the Nine of Cups here are advised to tune in with their inner selves so they can, you know, kind of get the picture or get the feeling of what it is that right now, in this moment, while you're doing that, is what makes your heart sing, is your dream, is your love, is what you're looking for in life. It can change, of course, two months from now, whatever you envision can change. But what you have is your ability to right now access your soul, access your heart, and understand its wants, understand your own voice, right? So you can express, right, your desires in a much more clear way, in a way where you will um, get what you want. I also feel like some of you can end up um, having a circumstance where you're being tested. This lover's energy sometimes also brings here a little bit of a testing energy where, you know, you have in one hand or in one road the opportunity of living a life or having an opportunity here to have an experience filled with love, happiness, enchantment, beauty, all the good things that we long for. And then you have another path that it's much more about the mind, the ego, the surface of beauty, the surface of love, the control, the, the aspect of this reality that is much more about materialism, that is much more about uh, the body and the mind. And then in the other side, you have the heart and the soul. What I want to say is that you have this very predictable path and you have this more unpredictable one. You have a path that may be um, also what you are kind of expected to pursue during this time and you have another one that may change things a little bit. And I feel like some of you are being tested. Uh, you're being tested in choosing your heart. You're being tested in choosing love, basically, over everything else and in, in, in also being tested in your ability to see beyond masks, to see beyond illusion of what happiness is and what is not, the illusions of happiness that we sometimes create. So choices are important for Geminis during this mid-month. I also feel like some of you can encounter a situation where, for example, you are torn between two two lovers, you know, two people in your life that you are in love with or you think that you are in love with both, but actually you have to discern which one you truly love. There are circumstances that have this triangle energy here. Some of it is to test you. Some of it is uh, a real test here of you choosing what's right for you and what's truthful for you. I feel like some of you want the easy path. This is your challenge, is the Six of Swords. I'm feeling like you want the easy way. You want the way that is clear, right? You want the way that is defined. You want the way that is just going to give you peace. But sometimes, you know, in order to go and, and reach that inner state of peace or to, to actually conquer something in our lives that would make us feel 
that that sense of uh, being at ease with how we are and how our life is, we have to fight for it and we have to make the choices that are going to take us there. So there are a lot of things in your hands, Gemini, a lot of things in your hands during this mid-month. And I feel like that's both your blessing and your curse is to choose, is to commit to a choice. And I'm feeling like some of you really don't want to commit to choices. I feel like some of you just want to indulge with everything you have. It's like having this buffet, right? You have this crazy amount of different foods and delicacies and experiences that are going to make you, um, you know, happy and satisfied in the moment. And what I'm feeling is like, instead of using the that wide range of experience to discern what suits you and what doesn't, right? You're just in some of you are just in in this in this energy of having it all you just want to have it all you don't want to choose why should i choose why do i have to choose if i like those two individuals why do i have to choose if i uh have this dualistic nature why do i have to choose and so forth and so forth i feel like some of you have an issue with your own in internal duality so you end up projecting in your life circumstances that are going to uh, you know, make that tug war between one side of you and the other just more, um, you know, visible and intense because that duality exists and will always exist, but we live with it in a state of wholeness, right? And this is the point here is for you to get that whole concept of who you are and the, the reality of what happiness is right now. Because I feel like some of you, if you keep playing around as uh, some of you are, with your your own heart playing with your own heart or the heart of others what can happen here is that suddenly you have all the choices and then you have none and you want to really pay attention before you reach that especially because with the lovers and the nine of cups you have here an amazing opportunity to really really manifest great things great things in your path you can have coming to you, you know, the source of your dreams in a physical way, in a material way, in a way that you can see and you can prove that miracles are real. So I hope you have a great mid-month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And hopefully we'll see each other soon.